Hey there, it's Casey Cole Corbin. A lot of us have recently taken advantage of the sale that took place with Home Depot in which they sold um, their samples for 99 cents a piece with free delivery. And so I know some people, they got, I think, probably <laughs> the fluid pour art, fluid art industry has um, possibly bankrupt the system <laughs> with them because they got so many orders. I saw that some people ordered... Um, uh, 40, you know, uh, 70, you know, of the, uh, of the samples. And, and so I only ordered seven and I got three of them in, um, so far they're in back order, but I wanted to play with it a bit and, uh, and see what I could do as, as you know, it has to be thinned down. This is some pretty thick stuff. I happen to have missed, uh, put in too much water into this gold. And so I'm going to just do a quick, fix with this by using this to thicken it up and use mine and just kind of tint it a little bit excited about these two coppery colors so just a little i'm going to solve my problem with too thin with the stuff that i have that is too thick naturally we look there must have been on the uh, around the lid, a little snotty piece there. Good, and that's all I want. And same for this one. You know that you we we pay a lot more typically for the metallic paints and. Uh, but the uh, Artist Loft Flow acrylic gold and silver are very inexpensive and you can get 64 ounces in a pump container. I usually catch it on sale for under $7. So that is a lot of paint for a little bit of money and it's metallic. So I have found that I can mix um, my metallics with it, or excuse me, I can mix other colors with it to make them metallic like I'm doing here. So I'm getting some different, they'll still have a metallic sheen to it, effect, and it'll tint the color. So it's not exactly the same as before, nor was I really going for that color. All right, well that kind of hit it. So my too thin mix, I'm not sure how I did that. And then my naturally too thick samples that I just got. And I've got some paint that I can pour with. I have uh, decided I'm going to try something. I am really following a professional artist named Zach Smithy. And he's actually lives in an area that I'm from in St. Louis. I live in South Georgia now, but I used to be from the St. Louis, Missouri area. And so it's kind of fun to uh, see when he's, when he's, when he's posting about, uh, these different areas or the be able to see the arch and several different areas several different things that is from my hometown so that's kind of neat but he's also just a, also i used to own a restaurant up in that area up, up north since i'm in south georgia now and he owns a restaurant and so have that too in common but he is a full-time professional artist He's doing some neat things with marketing, neat stuff with his art. There's just an awful lot to appreciate about him. So I would encourage you to watch his videos and follow him, um, Instagram, etc. So one of the things that I've seen him do, and I'm modifying a little bit in one of his videos, is I created this little trough. This is out of some vitamins that I take, some supplements that I take. And I just cut it at an angle and reinforced it with some some uh, tape. And here I'm going to add regular gold by itself and some silver. And some white. All these are my pre-mixes that I've mixed ahead of time in some cases months ago. 
And so I'm going to create this in this trough here. And I might want to pop it up just a little bit. Well, we'll see. Maybe I'll... Just doing a dirty pour. In this bit of a trough. I think I will support it while I'm continuing to work with it a little bit here. That's too much. All right. And now I'm going to attempt to layer it with some black on top. So that I have a layer. of the mix. I'm attempting to get a solid on the black as best I can. And then I have chosen to use a gold mat. Now, Zach, whenever he does his art, does some really neat stuff with pouring it. He uses just regular uh, flat pieces of wood, but it comes out in this neat ribbon. And this is where this cardboard might fail me. To create the layers that I want. But I think that's pretty cool. The effect that I wanted here was is that the color would be on top and the black would be on bottom. And so I did achieve that here, not so much the other places. So I got some uh, some more work to do. I'll try, and in fact, um, I can even give it a go now since I don't think I have that very full. I'm just using more paint. All right, so when I try this again, I'm definitely going to load it up a little fuller. But I still think we have some interesting stuff going on here. So if it would have worked the way I wanted it to, I may not be trying to move it like I am now. But I got some real cool cell work right there. I think my ambitions right now are just to connect those dots so they're not so orphaned out there. I'm going to try not to lose the cells in the process. All right. I have learned the hard way. But sometimes you just gotta stop. And so I think this is one of those times where I've just gotta stop. So beginning of my idea, I hope to um, replace this cardboard version with maybe something made out of wood or plastic. And so I'll be looking around for something that I can use for that. I was considering using a milk carton since they're dipped in wax and the paint would come off of them much easier I'm thinking um, even from the inside of it or maybe something plastic that uh, is about to get thrown away instead kind of hack it up but uh, there's the idea for you hope you enjoyed that